Thank you, Steve. And our in-depth coverage continues now. Police are reviewing mountains of evidence from this officer-involved shooting, retracing the steps of officers who responded to the scene. And new at 6, we went through hours of police radio traffic to help piece together the chaotic event. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with what he's found. The police radio traffic you're about to hear comes from Cranston and a frequency where different agencies can talk to each other and it's clear the morning went from a methodical search to an intense chase. We're going to do a yard by yard search. Early on, a Cranston police officer says a witness spotted the suspect wanted for stealing a state police cruiser and fleeing. From the witness, he's still handcuffed. He, he's on the air, back to the street. Later, officers are told to look for a white pickup truck, saying the suspect may have jumped in the bed. Officers started calling in multiple possibilities. Yeah, five two, there's one on the highway. He's got something hanging out of the, the back of the bed, all right? As soon as he put it over, he, he just jumped on the highway. A few white pickup trucks are stopped in this city of Providence and released. But one truck flees after being pulled over and police give chase. All right, he's still on Union Avenue. He's still on Union Avenue. With the truck boxed in on the on-ramp to 95, an officer broadcasts it's ramming into other cars, and then you can hear shots fired. Trying to run him over with a truck. He's crushing. He's cars with the truck. Shots fired. Shots fired. The audio then reveals just how quickly state and Providence police were able to shut the highway down so an ambulance could get up that on-ramp and transport the passenger of that pickup truck. She's still in the hospital. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.